Kindergarten is Miss Vranis and this week we're kind of taking a break with all of our lessons and we're going to do something kind of fun. We are celebrating Catholic Schools Week this week and so today we're going to have a special story and special activities and we're going to have fun and I hope you're going to have a great Catholic Schools Week too. So today we're going to read Two by Two by Barbara Reed and I'm sure we're going to know what this book is about if we look really closely at our cover here and our Spy Label is going to be a little bit different this week. We are actually talking about nonfiction. So nonfiction means real or informational. And since this story is from the Bible, it's in our nonfiction section. So you're going to notice that it has numbers instead of letters. And we've talked a little bit about that before. So you're going to notice that there's numbers there. And I have to look at my numbers here. It is 222.11 and REI because, of course, it's the first three letters of the author's last name. Even though this is based on a Bible story, um, somebody actually wrote it down and then illustrated it. So it's under her last name. We can see it right there. So it's a little bit different from our fiction books that we've been reading, but pretty exciting because it's a little bit different. So let's get started. Way back in the olden days, people turned to evil ways. They spoiled the world with greedy plots Dirty deeds and nasty thoughts. God was mad and with a frown said, Wash it clean, let him drown. There were some things God thought to save. He needed to help those of someone brave. Noah, you're both good and kind. I'll tell you what I have in mind. So Noah came to build an ark with pine tar, string, and hickory bark. He made it long and tall and wide with room for two of each inside. Mrs. Noah gathered seed from every flower, tree, and weed. Three sons brought food for one and all. Their wives packed more and piled it tall. Just in time, their job was done. The family boarded one by one. Then came the animals two by two. The frogs leaped over a kangaroo. And in came the animals three by three. The fleas rode on a chimpanzee. Now came the animals four by four, pushing and squeezing to get in the door. Then came the animals five by five. The ark was busy as a big beehive. And in came the animals six by six, pandas and penguins all in the mix. Now came the animals seven by seven. A drop of rain fell out of heaven. Then in came the animals eight by eight. Each cat paced beside its mate. And in came the animals nine by nine. Watch out for that porcupine. Now came the animals 10 by 10. The sloths slunk slowly on. And then, a 
All aboard, cried Noah. Shut the door. And down came the rain as never before. The sky had sprung so many leaks, the well swam over mountain peaks. From 40 days and night it poured inside the ark, a possum snored. Space within was so restricted, even the boas felt constricted. Every day the rain was done, the bats hung blinking in the sun. Noah said to Raven, fly, try to find a spot that's dry. A week went by without a word, so Noah sent another bird. The dove returned to great relief. Look here, I've brought an olive leaf. And since the ark has come to rest, I think I'll go and build a nest. Noah offered up his thanks, opened the doors, and lowered the planks. With hut and squeak and squawk and bark, the animals tumbled off the ark. God gave the rainbow as a sign that after rain, the sun will shine. Seasons and days shall never cease. And then God told them, grow in peace. And that is the end of our story, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed Two by Two, our Noah's Ark story. And I hope you have a fantastic Catholic Schools Week. So today your activity is, of course, to color the ark. And you can actually decorate the background too. Make sure you give it lots of neat and interesting details. And down here, you can help your, or you can, your mom and dad can help you read this Bible verse down here. And of course, it's all about Noah's Ark. Boys and girls, I'll see you next week. Bye.